Hello and welcome back to the channel. Well, I do have a rather unfortunate update to this story here. Um, apparently, uh, there will be no, I repeat, no murder charge for the woman who um, took the life of her black neighbor through her door. You remember the school teacher, mother of four? Um, this country is staying true to who they are unrepentant um, nobody at this point is surprised we're just reporting on what is happening in this country and around the world so that uh, when the Most High's judgments continue to amp up uh, you'll know exactly what they are for so anyway um, I'm going to share with you the, the details of this so it says Florida a Florida woman who shot her black neighbor through the door, won't face murder charges. Um, a Florida state attorney declined to pursue murder charges against a white woman accused of fatally shooting her black neighbor through a door. Uh, he announced Monday that Susan Lorenz has been charged with a manslaughter with a firearm and assault uh, in the June 2nd shooting death of Ajika Owens. Uh, state attorney William Gladson said his office determined there was insufficient evidence to file a murder charge against Lorenz, uh, charging Lorenz with murder would require prosecution, prosecutors to provide evidence of hatred, spite, ill will, or evil intent toward the victim at the time of the killing. Hmm. If you look at Dr. Ritchie's take on this, he is, a, he is um, I believe he is an attorney. Uh, he's, he showed very clearly that there is a lot of evidence. I mean, the slurs that were used, I mean, the um, assaulting of the children, just a number of different things, even what neighbors have said. But they want to go on record um, to the media and say that there is insufficient evidence when they have all kinds of it. This is just their way of getting this woman off because this is what they do, right? Okay. Um, he says, as deplorable as the defendant's actions were in this case, there is insufficient evidence to prove this specific and required element um, of second-degree murder, Glasson said. Um, as is always true in criminal cases, failure to prove beyond a reasonable doubt, even one element of a crime will result in a not guilty verdict. Uh, given the facts in this case, aiming a firearm at the door and pulling the trigger is legally insufficient to prove depraved mind. Okay, they sure do pull out the law books when it comes to trying to set themselves free or clear themselves of something. This is what the Bible said. This is what this is what was prophesied, y'all. This is why I like to point it out to you, time after time. The Bible tells us that they would do things to our people, and find themselves not guilty. We see it time and time again. Okay, so the Marion County Sheriff's Office um, has also charged Lorenz with a, cu a culpable negligence and battery, but Glasson's office is not pursuing those charges based on testimony from witnesses in the case. Uh, Glasson said um, he would not be pushed to file charges based on community pressure or public sentiment. See, so it's there, but he feels like no one's going to force my hand. That's again that um, reprobate pushback that we see in this country. We see this country always giving a reprobate pushback because they are what? Unrepentant. Simply stated, my obligation is to follow the law. Oh, really? Understandably, emotions run high, particularly with senseless uh, violent crimes. However, I cannot allow any decision to be influenced by public sentiment. Mm, mm, mm. Angry phone calls or further threats of violence as I have received in this case, he said, to allow that to happen would be improper in violation of my oath as a prosecutor, as a lawyer. So now we know that this country didn't care, don't care nothing about the law when it comes to dealing with black people unfairly. Historically, that's how their foundation was laid. They did not care about the law. This is how this whole country and land was taken in the first place because they wrote laws in favor of their own benefit and against the benefit of others. <sighs> 
Uh, there's more to this article. I don't need to read any more. There's just so much more. I mean, she even told them herself that she called them slurs, <laughs> you know. She admitted it, but they're saying that there is no evidence. No evidence. Wow. Wow. No evidence. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> wow. It does get very tiring trying to sort through all of this. But the real depraved mind is not just a single individual. It's a whole system. There's a whole system of depravity that exists in this country and around the world. Right? People don't want to own up to it. They don't want to repent from it because they can't repent from it. It's in them. It's in their hearts. And I bet if this woman could do it all over again, I bet she would do the same thing. Isn't that something? Is anyone surprised? Well, I simply wanted to bring an update on this. And like I said, Dr. Ritchie, um, he being a legal professional, uh, he knows the ins and outs of these laws. Some of them are very self-explanatory and very clear. But they try to use that rule of law thing to try to make it seem as though they are trying to follow the law in the books. And it's like, the we already know, people already know that that is not happening. The world has already shined the spotlight on the fact that this country is not and will never be fair. This is why the Most High's judgment has landed here. Of course, we know because the word says judgment begins with the house of Yah that our people will continue to be judged for their own sins. But this nation, too, will have to experience the judgment of the Most High as a nation because of the wickedness that just will not go away. It is there is embedded in the soil at this point. So anyway, tell us what you think in the comment section below, as always. Keep it tight and keep it right, but until next time, I'm out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.